Hi everybody and um, welcome again to another MI Rack tutorial. Today I would like to go deeper into the touch controller and how to use that. In this case we're going to use it to influence the morph signals inside this wave morph oscillator. So um, let's click on the plus sign and uh, let's go to tags then controllers and then tact one here from impromptu modular so let's click out the patch so here we are um so how let's go through the interface here you have your touch area you you have some leds which tells you uh, what level uh, your output outputting from the cv um uh, exit uh, uh, um uh, signal so you notice we have two dials as well one is for the rate which at the moment we put to zero so if i press or touch or click on if you have a mouse connected to the ipad here you see clicking only once aut automatically we go to the maximum voltage which in this case would be 10 volts because the uh, attenuator inverter is uh, set to x1 here if I click down here or touch down here, it goes automatically to zero. If I increase the rates slightly, you will see that as I click on the top here, it will go, but it will go up at the rate that is established based uh, from this dial. And the same if I touch or click again here, it will go down to zero depending on the rate. Of course, you can make it quicker depending on what you like. At the moment, the output will be uh, 10 volts, so we go from 0 to 10 volts. Uh, of course, you can uh, invert that, so if you set uh, this dial to X minus 1, it will go from 0 to minus 10 volt. So, um, so it's quite good actually to use, uh, uh, in this case, with the wave, wave morph oscillator. Here you have also a switch to move from a linear um, progression or an exponential progression in terms of how um, the voltage level increases. So let's connect the CV into the morph and then, then let's play. Just as a reminder, I've gone through first what the, the three waveform sounds like. So you have uh, waveform 2 here, which is a sine wave number two or number one square and number three we have a bit of a random okay so at the moment we remove the solo okay and now what we have is zero volt that is why correspond to the second waveform all right so now i'm going to increase the volume and then i'm going to select 10 volts and you what you will see it will go from the sinusoid from the sine waveform to the third one which is this random one so let's try Now, if I reverse this, and it will go to minus 10. And you will see how it moves from the sine wave to uh, the square one. And again, to prove this, uh, if you touch solo on the waveform number one is the square sinusoid or sine wave, and this random one.
as you see in this case what I've done I have moved from minus 10 to 10 so automatically moved from the uh, waveform number one to waveform number three and of course you can change the way that the rate progresses uh, change it to exponential let's see what it sounds like so much quicker okay I hope you enjoy and uh, I'm sure you can use this touch controller in other situation in other patches as you can see it's very easy to uh, use it to morph from these uh, from the well between these uh, three waveforms in this case using the wave morph oscillator Thank you. Bye.